All right, we're back with the Super Auto Pets Casino. We got 92% achievements complete. I do, I'm not trying to go off on anybody because I'm not trying to make anybody have the worst day at the stream or whatever. Did see someone ask, hey, NL, you think you're going to play Lost Ark? I skipped WoW, skipped EverQuest. Didn't touch Star Wars Galaxies. Not interested in Wildstar. Didn't touch New World. Final Fantasy XIV passed on that one twice. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Lost Ark. 20 years of staying away from the genre when it, when it was at its peak. Lost Ark's going to be the one to suck me in. And suck me dry, probably. Is that a free-to-play game? Anyway, um, we're on, uh, on free-to-play. We always start free-to-play. Let's get it going. Yes, one of these, please. Yes, one of these, please. Yes, one of these, please. So far, so good. Let's get a good team name. Sure. Is, if that's as good as it can be, that's as good as it can be. Danish geeks. I thought about it. I, I did think about it. Oh my god, what a, what a stomp. Give me one of these. Ooh. <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. This team is cracked already. <clears throat> Grow your hair out. I'm doing it as we speak. I can't stop growing my hair out. Just because you can't see it. It's a different story. I do have to say... I, I honestly think chat, um, and this is, I don't mean this to be as rude as maybe it sounds. I think chat are IRL doubters. Like, I, I think they're trying to sabotage sabotage me IRL. And, and what do I mean when I say this? When I didn't have a beard, everybody was like, you should grow a beard. I grew a beard. Everybody said, wow, your beard looks so cool. I was like, I bet it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Then I shaved my beard. People went, whoa, you you shaved your beard. What happened? I looked at like the, the some old thumbnails, even from like a, a month ago. And then some uh, photos in the thumbnails from like recently. Is actually like, it took like eight years off of my visage. I feel like a like a young man again. Maybe I'm a little bit too smooth, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, I, I, I feel like I could be 25 years old again. You look like a baby. <laughs> the gray was, is, is coming in like pretty seriously on the beard for sure, especially like around here. It wasn't a hobo beard, it was just it happened to be, happened to have some gray in it. Anyway, not that there's anything wrong with that. My brain is not full of thinky juice right now. Start me with one of these. Okay, I mean, this is fantastic. I'm a big believer. I think a new oppressive meta is uh, always freeze snail. In, in all circumstances, freeze a snail. It will, it, as long as you get that four banger shop, Having one snail frozen, I think, is an acceptable opportunity cost. Now, obviously, it has an insidious impact, but still. Unless you're going flawless, which this run could do, but I would say is possibly a little unlikely. I'll freeze two of these. I'm looking for salads, honestly. This is great efficiency. We'll, we'll take that. Salads, thank you so much for the salads. All right, you could argue maybe we got a little too much of the shop frozen. <laughs> but I mean, you can't argue with the results right now. Look at this. Sell me, buy me, salad me. I guess we could have pilled for the uh, ox, but I don't know if I see the ox surviving this long term why don't you take one of those I'm, I'm happy with two rabbits right now freeze another salad believers are getting the bag on this one i would confirm that <laughs> it's it's been a pretty good run so far 
I don't even... The, the, the units behind the Mosquito have not had to attack in quite some time. It's only round seven. Like, I think you could probably get a Hippo out there or a Rhino. I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like a Rhino is just more fun. Lucky me. We could take a Penguin, but... There's nothing like when a rhino ends up going up against a rooster. You piece. Hold on. Is is it possible? Is it? No, nope, not possible. Okay. No, my channel points. <laughs> You're losing me, my jury. Also one of Gene Hackman's last films. I said also as if like I would expect you to recall um, that we were talking about Welcome to Mooseport, Gene Hackman's final movie. Um... Like, on last Wednesday or something like that. But you gotta admit, that is a movie that Gene Hackman did do. Good movie, though. Honestly, Runaway Jury. I mean, how could you go wrong? It's a star-studded cast. John Cusack, Gene Hackman, Dustin Hoffman, Rachel Weisz. I mean, that's a recipe for a solid 8 out of 10. Who says no? Nobody. Hmm. Hem. 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 Overall, I would like a, a level 3 Rhino if possible. I would accept it. Hey, this one goes out to the person who spammed like 10 messages that said he won't sell the Mosquito by turn 9, and that'll be the reason he loses. Well, you're half right. What does that feel like? It is turn 9. I have not sold the Mosquito. Um... That's because we have nine wins. I mean, you seem so confident. You spammed the message literally like five times. I saw it the first time. Get that snail frozen. I mean, this is a recipe for guaranteed ten wins. Because if you kill me, I will rise up stronger than you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm not even... Okay, this... I, I bet we will lose this. But... That just means we're going to pop out of here with the freaking, uh, you know, four snail Marty. I'm not even worried about the flawless. Look, look at this right here. I would now say, sell me. Buy me. Buy me. Buy me. Buy me. <laughs> Freeze me. <laughs> Holy cow. You see how the stats changed? My word. They, it, this is just my two cents, okay? Hypothetically, I wish that they would make the Rhino good. It's fun, that's not a problem, but I wish they would make it good. Okay. So far, so good. That's, dude, look at the meta, always freeze snail. It is good. It never works. I feel like you, you see its effect happen, like, once every five rounds. When it works, it's, it's fantastic, but you almost never see its ability. I'm telling you, I, I hate to say it, but I think the snail is like, it's the new duck meta. You just keep him frozen the whole time. You know what? Well, let's see if the data bears it out here. Terrible shot. Still pretty bad, but life goes on. Hmm. Uncertain Gems. It's my favorite Adam Sandler movie. It sounds like the Bruce Willis, uh... The Bruce Willis fast follow of Uncut Gems. What the heck? This is how I succeed. You guys see that Don't Look Up got nominated for Best Picture? I don't, I guess I am trying to be a hater. I normally say I'm not trying to be a hater, but I'm just like, aren't you supposed to be the people who know things about movies? You're supposed to, we're supposed to look to you for our, for our standards and practices, right? It got nominated for best picture. 
Freeze me, freeze me, freeze me. Buy me. This should be interesting. It was pretty funny. Does that sound like um, best picture material? Does that sound like something you would say is the best picture? Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you feel that way. I'm going to freeze you and we're going actually sicko mode here. Because we're going to go hit me, hit me, 312 crab. And then if we get some meat on these bones, holy cow. Anyway, I don't think I saw any movies last year except Dune, so um, I think Dune should win uh, Best Picture. That's my, my two cents. If I had to give out my personal Best Picture, I would say my one of my Best Pictures is the one from um, Champions of Fire 2, where I look like this. And I got my hat on. That's like, I, I used that for thumbnails for a long time. It was just annoying sometimes to like cut out uh, the background because it was all like diffused because it was taken by a real photographer. That was a good one. That might be my personal best, best picture. Picks that go hard. Mind if I screenshot? I think you could fit a worm in here. Why not? We do need some meats. Always freeze me. Always freeze me. Meat is the most important. I need it. I need it. You know what? You take one of those. Garlic is also pretty good. Double snail freeze. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm, I'm happy we lost. AT&T is turning into AT&S? No, is AT&T has turned into AFS, always freeze snail. We don't know how much further we're taking it than that. Why don't you take one of these? We, we really want some meat, though. I would like some meat. You're losing me my jury? Funky Kong is here. It arrived. Funky, you're kind of like, you're going off on Twitter, huh? I've noticed. You, you, you've you been doing some serious Photoshop work. The photo of Funky Kong with an absolutely gargantuan birthday cake? I don't know, like, I, I wasn't joking when I said, like, I couldn't even... The, its ass was so big that I couldn't, my brain, and I, I'm not a shape rotator as we've established, I'm a word cell, but in my head I could not figure out whether they, Funky Kong was facing the front or facing the back relative to the camera. That's how large its anus was. It, it was staggering to me. Okay, I don't care, hit the snail. Go ahead, hit the snail. Even better, even better, honestly. Okay, you know, everybody asked for it, there you go. Buffalo, congrats, Buffalo. Wow, so much fun, Buffalo. Wow. I don't know why I'm just repeating the same words over and over again, but there you go, okay? There you go. Please lose twice. This team's not cracked yet, but the beautiful thing is, if we lose, we'll become more stronger than you've ever seen in your lives before. Because we got these snails. Like, as long as the snails are frozen, what can the believers do, man? Or what, what can the doubters do? Nothing is the answer. That's the answer for you. Look at how many threats we've got. I was thinking the other day, so Kate was watching an interview uh, on YouTube with the noted uh, League of Legends legend, Faker. Honest question. Me... 
Sips, Dan, Mouth, Corey. If we 5v1 Faker in a League of Legends game, could we win? Kate just said no. He wins is not even close. But we, he can only hold one lane at a time. We could push two lanes. Well, how could he stop? How could he stop us? He still wins? What if he has bots? Well, like we would... Everybody that I just mentioned, except maybe Sips, would lose to the bots, myself included. <laughs> so I don't think with the... I don't think he can have bots, otherwise, like, I, it was not even close. Ludwig did it with double lift 3v1, and it was hard for double lift when a normal game was played. Okay, this, honestly, so you're, you're saying that we would win. That's not even a knock. Like, I'm not saying that, like, that means that. You know, he's not that good because he's actually like, you know, the best ever to do it, right? Atrioc was on the team. He's former top 100. He's a former top 100 League of Legends player. That's not pros versus bros. You're freezing snails on lethal. So true. You know what? There's no point to freeze the snail. Let's just buy him instead. <laughs> My main goal is to blow up and act like I ain't know nobody. Yang, 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 yang. We already have the level 3 snail achievement, which is the best part of this, this whole shebang here. But Yeah, in like 1950. Oh, no. Okay, give me some melons, please. Not like that, though. Melons. Melons. I don't even care about a level a level 2 worm at this point. Hey! Hey, NL. Did you finish Archive 81? I did finish Archive 81. I did. I would... And this is in keeping with what I said yesterday that I think reviews should not have like scores as much as it should just be like, is this worth your time? And then the flip side is that the answer for 95% of properties should be no. Um, I think Archive 81 is worth your time. I do think it starts stronger than it finishes. And I don't enjoy, I mean, it's the same, like not to, and this is not even like a knock on Squid Game. It's the same thing with Squid Game, right? Where like so many of these shows are for like 70% of the first season, you're like, wow, this is crazy. I wonder how they're going to wrap it up. And then it always wraps up with like, you're going to, here's an unresolved question that means that there's definitely going to be a season two. And you're like, it just... It sort of undermines the journey that you take through season one when you recognize that like part of the final episode is just to string you along for season two, the, the commoditizing of it. But that being said, I still enjoyed Archive 81 throughout and I recommend it as well. Sorry, people talk, people talk. <laughs> sure, why not? It's a Netflix show is not going to get season two. Dude, honestly, like, it would be, like, not because season one was so incredible, necessarily, even though I had a, I thought it was a good time. Um, but if it doesn't get a season two, it would be disrespectful because they kind of compromised the end of season one to, to add the trappings for season two. They should, if you don't get a season two, they should be able to live edit the ending and hot fix it and have it have some kind of finality instead of just like, you know, what it actually was, which was still pretty good. I know it, I'm doing the thing that I hate that people always do. I just remembered. Yeah. They had the four minute one. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> So either you or me have to bring the cat at once. 
Yeah, and either you or me have to pick them up at five. Yeah. Correct. Uh oh. You think it's you're okay to drop them off? I can drop them off. Okay, I can pick them up then. Okay. Hey, Tomo. What's gonna happen to the baby when I drop them off? Do I bring the baby with me? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Is that okay? I, I mean, I've, I picked up the cats from their appointment with the baby before. This is the value of daycare. You, we set an appointment for something that like the cats need, need to be groomed two weeks ago. And then um, we're like, yeah, that should be fine. And then one runny nose plus a global pandemic that never ends. And you're like, man, this is all messed up now. <laughs> Melon armor. Okay. Hey, tomorrow. Not gonna lie, COVID's a bit of an annoyance. It's so true, and I wish more people would say it. Like, this, this pandemic is honestly just kind of, like, annoying. Then, you know, also, like, really bad, but also annoying. It's really starting to grind my gears. Look at that, another 10-piece. Hot take, hot take Tuesday. Hot take Tuesday. Hey, COVID! Get out of here! Pay out the believers, obviously. Hey, COVID, why don't you uh, 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 frick off? Archive 81 Bat Chest. Listen, it's a good show. It's a fun show. I do not like this. Check this out, though. Order, order. I know you're going to say order. Here's my, my thinking. The duck having more HP is... Oh, wrinkled tea bags is so good. The duck having more HP is more important than the other two units having temporary attack. Now, we're going to get our, you know, behind kicked here. We drew? That's actually unfathomable. I support this decision. Call me a hater. I don't care. We need HP on this squad. That's the only way we're making it through this. This is going to be a very delicate start to the to the run here. I am a doubter now. I guess this is the problem with the casino starting a little bit late. <laughs> no, I'm not going to enable Kieris. So that you guys can ask me to light up joints. I, the reason I'm not going to enable it. You okay? Where's, there you go. Hey. The reason I'm not going to enable it is because in Squeak's chat, it being enabled means that it's like the only thing I type. It's again, it's like a honey pot. What is Kieris? I mean, it's like a it's a hand holding a marijuana cigarette. I refuse to to add it. It's beneath me. What the heck are we going to do? How are we going to get out of this? You know horse is not the way long term. You know duck is not the way long term. It's a 2-3. Don't be afraid to sell a 2-3. Add a 3-6 to the squad. Freeze a crab. Fish for some cupcakes. Watch this. Now this is a new one, okay? This is, you're not going to see it done like this by any other streamer. We don't have to set it up like this. I'm, I'm being a fool. Um, this is how I win. I, I, I think that was... One of the boldest mathematical plays I've ever had to make in this game. And yet I stand by it as being the only way we were going to have a chance. 
keep in mind this elephant is gonna suck next turn. It's not, it, you know, it's a. It was the cupcakes that did the math. I'm not a hater. Go ahead. Give me something useful. That's not useful at all. I need meat. Stockfish says you're up eight points. Bro, that's like a queen. I'm rolling. That's incredible. Isn't that nine? You're gonna laugh at me for saying this, but like... They changed it. <laughs> at some point, it used to be eight, okay? And then they changed it to nine. And now I feel like a fool every time I talk about it. it I swear to you, in the mid-2000s, it was eight. I don't know what happened. Giraffe. And Pluto's still a planet. So true. It's still a planet to me. Threadless.com is where I get all of my best t-shirts from. Giraffe. I think you gotta go. You gotta stay. And then we just buy salads. All the live long day. I don't know, man. Like, sure, while you're here, why not? I don't see any salads, but you know what? Take one of those. Always freeze a snail. I would sell a giraffe for a snail in a heartbeat. Especially if we get a couple. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops. Oh, man. I can't believe this team is kind of working. I hope the new update removes the bacteria voice. I find it so unsettling. I actually... I really like the bacteria voice because I think it's like a little troll. We do not need a rabbit, man. We're not doing anything with it. Like, every time I buy the bacteria and it goes like... <laughs> I'm like, that's what, how I feel. Because... I'm only buying this because... It gives me a good chance to catch my opponents off guard. Like, it's the full troll build. Feed me. We don't need an apple. That's what we need. We need a salad. I can't believe we're at the believer threshold. Like, I, I kind of felt like I was a little out of it today, to be honest. I didn't feel like I was I was bringing my best super out of... Why would I roll? <laughs> yeah. I didn't feel like I was bringing my best Super Auto Pets experience. I spent a staggering amount of time talking about Runaway Jury for some reason. Um, and yet, look at this. Everything's going great. It's been a good day for beliefs so far. I mean, this is a given. This is a given. This is a given. Definitely will take these. I don't know if we've ever won with a level 3 elephant, but I bet we have. <clears throat> Pay to win is where it all comes crashing down. Actually true. That's pretty true. We, we lose this one, which is a great opportunity to get the snails out there. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. Buy me. I'm a fool. Sell me. Buy me. All that for a drop of blood. I think it would be funny if my elephant killed the snail. Not worth. Mm, we'll see about that. No, you can't just take the result and say that that justifies the decision you made. Ugh, bad chest. We've definitely won with a level three crab. This might be an interesting situation. Hold on, how do I, how do I check my uh, achievements from here? Return to menu. Achievements. Cow. Cow fly gorilla. Cow fly gorilla. Okay. <clears throat> Elevin didn't have a win either. Oh, baby. <laughs> well, 
We do need to get rid of the chocolate in order to make this work, unfortunately, but that's okay. Give it all to one unit, because then one crab can make it work for you. Um, not good. I know there is a fly. I mean, I guess we could, like, <laughs> split the difference. I mean, we're getting a little ambitious here. That fly being killed is actually fine with me. There's no reason to do it but except for humor, but that's funny. Hey, Farish, thank you again for the gifted subscriptions. Much appreciated. You take care of yourself, okay? Don't be just coming in here. Dropping a staggering amount of gifted subscriptions. And then getting the heck out of here. You're, the mysterious benefactor has logged on. Okay, level two. I chose the right horse in this race. Please, please me, please me. If this gets to 10, is actually stupid. Because this, I don't think you could have engineered like a worse shop than what we had. <laughs> to start the game, like that was pure despair. My one up! It's broken. All right, we're gonna lose this one. That's all right, we got space. <clears throat> yeah, we got space. We're still two away from lethal. We need buffs. I would say you could probably take that. Better buffs, please. That is, that's pure pain for me. I'm gonna roll, you know, we got a little runway. It's a good, that's a, a good opportunity for some HP. Certainly don't really care about chocolate right now. That's painful. Where I need more melons. I need, uh, you know what? If you could just give me like 12 cupcakes next round, that would be fine. Please. Pain, pain, that's pretty pain. Okay, this is a scary moment. We're, we're watching two achievements possibly disappear. Melon. Melon. You're losing me, my jury. That's pretty melon. Melon, melon, that's pretty melon. Might as well put you at the front still. That's anti-scorpion tech. Please, it, this team is not good enough for like round 15. No, I think we lost. In soon to be hindsight, um, it might not have been the best idea to try to get fly and elephant on the same run and then also have one of our units be a cow. <laughs> we, wait, we're up to 94% though. I don't think we had too many, like, foods. I think we had too many, like, ass units. <clears throat> we'll just call that SAP 